Okay, guys, those are some certainly interesting setups. Uh, please tell the viewers what's on the field. Absolutely, Soundwave. You're listening to Verone and Brianna Tempest, and we have the second match of the second half of the second day of Alliance Tournament 8. We've got negative 10 versus Soldier's Thunderstorm. And for negative 10, we have three Hurricanes, two Brute X, three Ruptures, and an Aneros. And on the Soldiers of Thunderstorms team, we have three Proteuses, a Damnation, a Guardian, two ED Mark Vives, and Dominix. And we are just waiting for the countdown in local. Um, we've got the one minute countdown, we're just waiting for it from Claw, so we're probably going to have a couple of, uh, a few seconds of silence and uh, a little bit of a time to relax while we wait for the match to get underway. Who's your money on, Brianna? I don't know. These two teams look pretty evenly matched. They're both fielding armor tank teams. Although it's pretty interesting how two Idaran Mark Fives are going to be used, I'm pretty curious to see what they're going to use them for. I mean, so far with the two or three teams that's fielded um, their close cousins, but this time I'm interested to see what they're going to use this for. Yeah, it's going to be. Uh, it is going to be quite uh, intriguing to see how they get used. We've got the two um, sat right in the middle of their group, in fact. So um, I'm assuming they're going to be used for their uh, extensive cargo holds, probably uh, maybe to hold cap boosters and whatnot. You never know. Maybe a little bit of electronic warfare, and our match is already underway. Yes, the match is underway, and it seems like um, negative ten has. A flurry of drones just swarming over the other team's Proteus. Yeah, we have a mix of Warrior 2s and Valkyrie 2s out on the field now from negative 10. Um, Soldiers of Thunderstorm not really bothering with any drones. Um, they have um, heavy armor maintenance bots sat out around their Dominics, but uh, other than that, they've left these two Iterons right in the middle of the field pretty much unguarded. Yeah, I, I think the Iterons are actually sensor boosting. I'm interested to see if they're going to use them for E-War. And now we see Proteus starting to drop into about half armor. It'll be interesting to see if the Guardian can wrap him back up. Yeah, but it looks by the amount of armor that's been regenerated on those Proteus that they've got a fairly heavy buffer tank, I should imagine. Um, their Guardians sat uh, quite far off, uh, quite at a distance away from the rest of the guys there. And on the negative 10 team, we have this rupture that's starting to drop into low armor. But the rest of the team is still about two hurricanes still in shields and nobody else taking any damage. As we see the team's Proteus starting to drop into structure. And yeah, they're going to lose a big chunk of their DPS. All these Proteus, I believe, if I can get a quick look at. Um, f yep, fully blaster fitted, and it looks as if they have the uh, damage bonus subsystem for the blasters fitted as well. So probably the bulk of the DPS for the team there is uh, the first one, Valerie Galaxy of uh, Soldiers of Thunderstorm. Uh, drops deep in a structure. We're going to lose him soon. And there he goes. Poof. And as we see here, we have negative tense ruptures bleed into structure. It won't be long before he drops as well. Um, the, the hurricanes are actually starting to recharge shield, and nobody else is taking too much damage. We see the other Proteuses on the Soldiers of Thunderstorms team starting to take some damage here. Interestingly enough, neither team has actually looked to go after the logistic ship of the opposing side yet. We have a Guardian with uh, Soldiers of Thunderstorm. Lost a little bit of shield there, but not a great deal. He doesn't look like he's taking damage at present. Um, or maybe he's taken a little sliver of drone damage there. He's dropped slightly. But um, the Aneros for um, negative 10 still completely untouched. And you can see that they're actually focusing on their Proteuses. Um, as, as the first Proteus starts to drop into half armor, but it's slowly being wrapped up by the Guardian. But I don't know if that's going to be enough to keep him alive or not. You know, the Hurricanes do actually pack a lot of damage, and uh, these guys are um, actually armor tank. They may not put out as much DPS as normal shield tanks Hurricanes do, but they can still quite a punch. Yep, it's looking from the way they're set up. They're fully auto cannon fitted. Um both the, the trio of hurricanes and the two ruptures that are left on the field. So um, that's a hell of a fast rate of fire and a lot of DPS for those Proteus and that Guardian to deal with. Um, we can see there the second Proteus of um, 
Soldiers of Thunderstorm dropping deep into structure now. And there's just, on my screen here, there is just an absolute swarm of drones. We've got medium armor maintenance bots all over that Proteus um, from the Soldiers of Thunderstorm team. And we've got an absolute swarm of Valkyries and Warrior 2s all over it as well from the opposing team. Absolutely. What I can see from my screen is just a blob of red and a blob of blue drones. As the first Proteus starts to dip into structure... Yep, and that's going to be pretty much all of the DPS from um, from the Soldiers of Thunderstorm team gone. Um, they still have the Dominics on the field, um, packing heavy maintenance bots at present. Maybe he'll swap them off for sentries, hopefully, eventually. Um, it's yet to be seen. But um, yeah, their Guardian's still relatively untouched, but he doesn't seem to be doing very much of an effective job at actually keeping uh, his gangmates alive. And there that Proteus, since uh, we have negative tens, first hurricane starting to drop into mid armor. So that Dominic's um, soldier of thunderstorms team is actually fielding some bouncer twos, which are some sentry drones. And I think they just switched targets. They're targeting him with right now. Yep, it looks as if that Dominic is about to take a serious beating. And we can see that the Guardian isn't actually being ECM'd and isn't actually out of the fight. He has his cap um, and remote armor transfers running, I believe. At least it appears that he does. Um, yeah, he definitely does. I've just checked that. But see there, the Guardian being attacked by an absolute swarm of Valkyrie and warriors now. This is actually turning out to be a, quite a bit of a slugfest. So, Veron, what do you think? All these Dominixes that are being fielded, I think a lot of teams have included at least one or two Dominixes. And it seems like from soldiers set up, these guys are not really, at least they haven't really used them for nosing and nuding purposes. Yeah, I think the Dominix, they tend to field them um, semi-blaster fitted with a lot of remote rep and, and cap support. They tend to... Um... They tend to go for sort of what we coined in earlier tournaments, the turtle tank, where you would find that um, they would use, a, say, a two or three Dominixes to remote support each other, and um, you would have them all together just sat in a pack, and they would be very solid, very dependable, and you could use them to uh, either help repair other people, or you could just sit them there with a group of sentries and you had some solid DPS throughout the fight. Um, I'm not sure exactly what Soldiers of Thunderstorm have thought here, fielding just the one, because it puts it in a very vulnerable position. Um, but, you know, it's um, it's a tactic, they've tried it, and, um, well, it doesn't really look like it's working out for them so far, because um, negative 10 definitely have the upper hand. Yeah, as the match goes on here, we have soldiers lose their lone guardian, and it's looking extremely difficult for them to beat the other team, as their last Proteus drops into about 40% armor, and as the other team doesn't really have any damage to their armor, we can safely say that if they can take out this Proteus and the, the, the Dominix, then they would have a pretty good chance at winning this match. Yeah, I think it will take them a while to chew through the tank on that Damnation, which uh, I should imagine has been uh, supporting those three Proteus with the uh, ganglings. But um, yeah, I don't think that uh, it's going to be a win on the terms of Soldiers of Thunderstorm here. Negative 10 have dominated pretty much from the start. I've actually heard word from my buddies that this Proteus that they're killing is actually worth way more than the negative, t the negative 10's entire team. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me at all. I think that probably we're going to see a shift in the, uh, the price of T3 when... Uh, this tournament's over. We've seen a lot fielded, we've seen a lot of Tengus fielded, a lot of Proteus, um, a couple of Lokis as well, but I'm really interested to see if any of the teams in future are going to field a Legion. Um, not exactly the greatest uh, T3 counterpart for uh, most tournament setups, but I'd, I'd like to see them field it and see how they do. Yeah, Legions are actually not very commonly used, even in Tranquility PvP, and I think Favor of the flavor of the month here, especially in an alliance tournament we've seen, is probably the Tengu, because all all of the teams, uh, I mean, most of the teams have fielded at least three Tengus, and most of them have come up you know, pretty well. Now we can see there Roger Dodger of uh, Soldier of Thunderstorm down and out. He has just dropped at this second as I speak. Um, so yeah, we don't have much left on the field now. We've got a damnation left on the field. Who's given gang bonuses probably to two hitter on Mark Fives, which aren't really going to do a great deal, I don't think. 
Not at all. Um, it remains to see to be seen how long it takes for them to take down that damnation. I've actually had a friend whose damnation tanked an entire guard pause for like 20 minutes. Yeah, so my own. Uh, don't have to. My own has roughly about 400,000 effective hit points, so I can attest to the tank on the Dominix. What I do find strange, though, is that um, that Dominix. Um, was sat and he obviously had a smart bomb. I saw him firing it off in his sort of in his ship's death throes to try and get rid of some of those drones. But um, he, you know, he, he died horribly and he didn't bother to actually use that smart bomb when he had a huge cloud of drones around him. So I don't know what his thinking was there. He was getting remote cap transfer from his buddy in the Guardian for a long time. So I can't see why he didn't use it and take out a big chunk of the DPS and the opposing team. Yes, that is interesting. Although I think for a lot of players, this tournament can be a very tense situation, and so maybe, you know, even with lots of training, it's hard to, you know, actually keep so many things at the same time, and you have this opponent shooting at you, you have to keep within a certain boundaries, it's just really difficult sometimes. So maybe that's why he forgot to use his smart bombs. Yeah, potentially, maybe he had one of his teammates close by, you know, he didn't want to podkill one of his teammates. But um, I certainly wouldn't have um, lost out on a tournament purely because of uh, not wanting to pod one of my own guys. He needs to get the hell out of the way if he doesn't want to be blown up. But we can see there the damnation. Only ship left on the field for the uh, Soldiers Thunderstorm team. Um, taking a severe beat. He's got all of the DPS from the negative 10 team focused on him and his armor slowly dropping away. So Baron, I heard that you have some kind of pimped out damnation that you're willing to hawk in front of Gita 44. <laughs> Not a chance, that is going absolutely nowhere. <laughs> That's just firmly in my hangar unless it's needed for gang bonuses, and I would definitely not take it to Gita. We're still seeing this damnation in about half armor. He's starting to drop in into about, I would say, 30% as the entire negative 10 team wails on him with hurricanes, bootixes with blasters, and ruptures. Yeah, you've got to test to how hard the Damnation's tank is there. I mean, that's probably six, 700 DPS from each of those Proteus, from each of those Brutics, sorry, if they're damage fitted. You know, probably roughly about the same from those hurricanes, um, and the rupture packs are that much as well, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's down and out, so, well, negative 10, take the win, and we can hand back to Soundwave. Thank you very much guys, negative 10, uh, very good team, just like Brianna predicted. Uh, we'll be back with Old Intentions versus uh, Ushura Khan, that's our 1900 EVE match in just about 6 minutes.